Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to tighten up and enhance a silhouette image in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is the beginning, or this is actually the end product of our silhouette. And what we're doing here is we're gonna be going ahead and sort of taking it from this, which is a pretty good silhouette shot. The, the, the cinematographer has gotten a really good shot here, but we're gonna be adding a sort of a next layer to this where we're going to be making it that pure silhouette that maybe we were going for. So you can see in this, we have a lot of detail still in the boy. You can see that his shirt is white. You can see his facial features. Over here, we can see the shoulder. We can see it's a, maybe a green color. And we don't want that. We want that pure silhouette. So this is what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be taking it, we're gonna be modifying it so that we have these almost pure black outlines. And then we're also going to be making sure that we don't affect the background too much so that we don't destroy what's back there as well. It's a really fun effect and it's really, really simple, but it's something you should know whenever you're working with silhouettes so you can really bring out their full potential. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is drag in your footage and then go ahead and drag in the Lumetri color. You can either go to the color tab in Premiere Pro if you're on a newer version and it'll be up here in the right panel over here as a color panel, or you can just drag it onto your footage and then work from it over here. And you'll notice that we have all the effects over here that we have on the right side, just a little bit more condensed. So what we wanna do is we want to take this part the black image, the lower part of the image. And we wanna sort of take those and we wanna crush them together. We don't want these shades of gray and black as you go away from it. That's good for high dynamic range and high detail, but that's not what we want for this. We wanna take those and we wanna condense them into a solid black color. So to do that, what we're gonna do is go to the blacks in here. So we're gonna to go to basic correction and blacks. And we're gonna drag this down. And what this is gonna do is it's going to grab the black part of the image and it's going to start removing shades. So let's say that you have, you know, maybe there's a hundred different shades of black and you have the very lowest one, which is pure black and the very highest one, which is like maybe pure gray. This is taking that bottom layer of maybe like zero through 50 and it's condensing them all. So there's no longer shades between zero and 50. They're all just pure black. And that'll, that really helps because it takes some of the color. You can already see that the color out of here is disappearing. And all we're doing is just, we're making it pure black. And you see this doesn't have much of an effect on most images. Uh, it's just going to make the uh, slightly higher contrast. You can offset this by bringing up the contrast a touch as well to sort of bring back some of the light back there. Or you can also bring uh, down the contrast. It sort of, just, sort of just work with the contrast a little, see if anything helps the image out a little. So we can maybe bring this back a touch. And so now what we've gotten is we almost have no effect here, but we're starting to get a good uh, silhouette on this part. So the next thing we, I like to do is I like to go into the curves and then adjust the uh, this curve right here, the Luma curve, which is the brightness of the image overall. And this down here are our darks. So what we're gonna do is we wanna make a point maybe just a little bit beneath midpoint here. And then we wanna make a point maybe right about here. And we just wanna drag this down. And what we're doing by this is we're taking the, the Luma values of this and we're sort of crushing them all the way down so that they're pure black. We wanna make sure that we don't have this, uh, the curve will automatically do this. So if we create a point in the middle here, we can sort of drag these back and make sure that they're back on the same line. And that makes sure that we don't have like an over brightness of the background, that we just have the, whatever the background was, but we're taking this part specifically and we're crushing them down. Maybe bring this down a touch more, to sort of bring it down to what works with your silhouette. And now what we have is you see that we've gone from this where there's a lot of detail and we've almost taken out all of the detail here. And you can see that up here, all of that detail is gone as well. And now we just have these sort of these cutouts of the image. And that's really what I do. That's really the effect is just to sort of play around with the blacks and then come into the curves to really just sort of bring them down. And you notice like right here, I still see some of this. So I'm gonna bring this over a little bit. And if you'll notice what it does is it actually starts removing some of this here. Now, whenever you have another image, um, you need to make sure that this doesn't destroy that image. You have to, you know, of course, adjust for whatever the image is. But we have this effect. Now, one more little step that we can do is we can actually go into the reds here and we can see that there's still some red there. So we can do the same sort of curve, but specifically apply it to the red. And you see that we start taking some of that red out. Now, this is going to also sort of give you a more stylistic approach. You can see that the blacks in these have really started to pick up, but I actually think that looks really good with this one, is we sort of taken it from this dull, 
um, pretty good shot, and we sort of really added this contrast and really added a little bit of a flair and a lot of style and color to it. But that is really the effect. All you have to do is, again, blacks, curves, adjust those lower curves to really crush the blacks together, and you get yourself a perfect silhouette. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you don't see my videos similar to this one, go ahead and that subscribe button and make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.